it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to learn how to crochet the Playfully Plush Basket. This is a fun container that you can store just about anything in. It's nice and deep. It has some great handles on the side. You could use this in uh, playroom for toy storage, in your craft space, office, anywhere really that you have a need to store things. And this is very quick to crochet. We're going to be using some thick plushy yarn and a large hook. So you really can work this up in no time flat. We're going to be using a yarn called Sweet Home by Red Heart. So this color is the Sweet Home in the Calypso colorway. It's um, beautiful shades of fuchsia, aqua. It's very tropical looking. Uh, this is called the Moody Blue. So the one we're going to make together is going to be shades of blue. I will say, even though... Um, I have this ball of yarn here, you will have some left over. You may even be able to make a whole nother basket out of this yarn. Um, but I got one full basket and then had some leftovers. So you're not going to use the whole ball of yarn. You can use it for other things too. Now each ball of this is 193 yards, 177 meters, 10.5 ounces, and 300 grams. And as a side note, it is machine wash and dry. So whatever you put in this, you can toss it in the wash if you need to. This yarn recommends a 10 millimeter crochet hook and is a super bulky six on the yarn weight scale. So just to give you some guidelines if you do need to substitute. A great substitution that is a very similar yarn to this is the Bernat Blanket. And they all, the, both the Bernat Blanket and the Sweet Home come in tons of beautiful colors, both solid and variegated if you need a solid color. We're gonna be using, even though it recommends a 10 millimeter hook, we're going to be using a 9 millimeter hook. That's going to give our basket a little bit more sturdiness and structure if we go down a hook size. Um, but I wanted to point out as a side note to just pay attention to the millimeter. Depending on the yarn manufacturer, the letter may change. So this is an M. This one that I have here is an M slash N 9 millimeter crochet hook. I have another crochet hook in my hook collection that is an N 9 millimeter. So I would pay less attention to the letter, but just make sure you have the 9 millimeter hook. And again, we're going down a hook size than the recommended. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a ruler or tape measure is very, very helpful as you go along to get height and things like that. So let's slide everything out of the way. We have our extra yarn, our basket. We'll just put the basket off to the side in case we need to refer to it. But we're going to be starting from the bottom and creating a circle. And then we're going to build up the sides and finally work these beautiful handles that are super duper easy to make. So let's jump right in and get started. The finished basket has a height of about seven and a half inches. The bottom or base, the circle part that we're going to do together has a width of about, let me just flatten it out a little bit more. It was kind of popping in there. I wanted to make sure it was accurate. Has a width of about seven and a half inches also. And then if we do the circumference of the basket, that has a circumference of about 24 inches. So it's a nice size basket for all kinds of things. I have my hook and my yarn, and we're gonna just keep this basket off to the side in case we need to refer. But let's zoom in so we can see all these stitches happening. The first thing we need to do is put a slip knot on our hook. So to make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, pinch it, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. The next thing we need to do is, again, we're gonna be starting from the middle here and working our way outward. So we're gonna work in rounds, just like that. So what we need to do is chain four. We're gonna create a ring that we'll be working our stitches into. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. And you can see these variegated colors are happening already and it's so much fun. But if you prefer solids, obviously stick to solids if you like. Next, we're going to join in the farthest chain from the hook. So that first chain that you made all the way down here, we're going to uh, join with a slip stitch to create a ring. So insert the hook into that farthest chain from the hook, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, and we now have a ring that we'll be working into. This tail here, we're going to hold along the edge as we work, that will save you a step and you won't have to weave that in later. 
The next thing we're going to do is chain two. Now our basket is simple half double crochet stitches for most of the basket and that's what gives it that really pretty texture. It's a very simple stitch but it gives it a really pretty texture. You don't want to get too complicated with the variegated plushy stuff um, so we kept it nice and simple. So the next thing we want to do is chain two. One and two and then we're going to work 11 half double crochets into the center of the ring. Again holding this tail along the edge as we work. So to make a half double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops, and that's it, okay? So we're just gonna do that for a total of 11 half double crochets. This chain two we did at the beginning of the round counts as a half double crochet, so we'll end up with a total of uh, 12 kind of spokes. You can really see that here, all those 12 kind of it's kind of almost makes like a star appearance okay so let's get started on these so we had one we need a total of 11 so two holding that tail still three four five six, get some more yarn, seven, holding that tail, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so you should have a little circle by the time you're done. And then what we're gonna do is join with a slip stitch to close the round. So count two chains up. Remember that chain two we did at the beginning of the round? Count two chains up, insert your hook into that second chain up, and you might need to sort of feel around for it if it's very plushy. The plushy yarn is uh, very forgiving, but sometimes it's a little hard to see, but it's all good. All right, so I inserted, let me just read you that. Insert, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, and round one is complete. Now before we proceed, uh, you might wanna trim your tail just to get it out of the way. So what I do is just pull it really, really tight to close up that center hole. Grab your scissors and give it a little tiny trim. And then we're ready to roll once again. Okay, you won't have another tail until the very end of your project. So next what we want to do is for round two, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work two half double crochets into every stitch. So your stitches, you can see at the top of each, um, so you have, when you have a stitch, you have a post, that's this column here, and then you have a stitch, that's that loop at the top. So what we want to do is work a half double crochet into that first stitch, and you want to insert, make sure there's two loops when you insert. See how there's two loops up there? Work a half double crochet in that first stitch, work another half double crochet into that first stitch, and then we're going to just do the same thing all the way around. Work two half double crochets in every stitch all the way around. This is how we're going to increase our circle, which is going to give us that nice large uh, foundation for our basket, for like the, the basket base, if you will, okay? So I'm just gonna work two half double crochets in every stitch all the way around. Now sometimes, now this is a really easy uh, round to do, but sometimes if I wanna keep track of what I'm doing, I'll say it out loud while I'm working. Um, now if I'm around other people, they may not like that very much, but saying things out loud sometimes really helps if you are uh, working or counting stitches. So sometimes I'll go one, two, one, two. That way I won't have to keep going back and looking and going back and looking. So just a little tip there that helps me quite a bit when I'm working to say things out loud. All right, we're just doing those two double, uh, half double crochets rather. I chose the half double crochet stitch. It's one of my favorite of the basic stitches because it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's uh, a shorter stitch and sturdy, but it also has a little bit more drape than a single crochet. 
a little bit more bend to it. All right, we're just coming around here and we have one more stitch to do. Just do your two half double crochets into that last stitch and we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round once again like we did before. So count two chains up, one, two. If you need to feel around with your hand a little bit, that's okay. If it's hard to see the stitch, you can sort of feel for those loops and then close with a slip stitch, okay? So round two is complete. For round three, we're going to chain two once again, and then we're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch. So same thing, that half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work two half double crochets in the same stitch. So one and two, just like that. And then we're just gonna repeat the sequence all the way around our circle. We're still, we're still increasing, we're just not increasing at quite a rapid pace as the last round that we did. So we just worked two, so we're gonna work one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the next stitch. So just continue this sequence all the way around your circle, and when we get towards the end, we will rejoin. And if you, if you need to go back and look, so I'm seeing I just did two, then I did one, so now I'm ready to do two again. You can go back and peek if you need to. So when we get towards the end of this round, we're gonna rejoin, and I'll show you how to transition onto the next round. Just working that last half double crochet of the round, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna count two chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. And already, we've only done a few rounds, the base of our basket is getting pretty big already. So we're gonna do one more round of increasing for our circle, and then we're gonna start transitioning up to the sides of our basket. So let's do one more round of an increase. So we're gonna chain two, and then what we're gonna do is work a half double crochet into that first stitch, just like that. And you might need to wiggle it if it's a little snug, that's okay. So work a half double crochet into that first stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch, and then two half double crochet into the stitch after that. So one and two. And then we're gonna work the same sequence. So one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet. We're gonna do that all the way around our circle. So let's do a few together. One half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the next stitch. And if you notice, I can see the stitches, but I'm also feeling for them just to confirm. So one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet. Again, go back and look if you're not sure, like if you've lost your, your, your place in your work, that's perfectly fine. Put that second one in there. We're just gonna continue this sequence all the way around. One half double crochet, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet into the next stitch. One and two, if it helps to count out loud. One half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the next stitch. So just continue around and we'll rejoin and we'll finish up this round and we'll begin the transition from the base of our basket to the sides of our basket. Coming up to the end of the round, working the last half double crochet, we're gonna fasten off, or join to close rather, with a slip stitch, same thing we've done. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna start working our way up our basket. So if we look at our basket over here, and I can zoom out just to show you, you may notice there's sort of like a, almost looks like a chain that goes around here we're going to be working a little bit different of a stitch to kind of turn and give that a nice 
So if you look at your basket here, the way it sits on the table, it has like a nice sort of finished uh, edge on it. And that is done very easily with a back post half double crochet. And if that sounds like a lot, it's not. We're just going to work it the same way we've worked our half double crochet. It's just in how you place your hook if you're not familiar with the stitch. So on the Fiber Flux channel, we've done a lot of back post double crochets, but not really so many back post half double crochets. So to do that, what we want to do for round five is chain two, one, two, and then look for that first stitch. So this one is sort of connected to this one. See how it just comes up in a straight line? And let me zoom in so you can really see what I'm talking about here. We're not going to worry about this post, but hop over. Remember we talked about posts and then the little stitch loop is at the top. So what we're going to do is, is focus on the post now. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go around the post. So you're going to go from the back, go over top of it, and go back down. Wrap yarn around hook, bring the yarn back through and up the way you came. You'll have three loops on your hook. Then simply wrap yarn around hook and bring it through all three loops. So that part of the stitch probably looks very familiar. And as you can see, we've created, the variegated yarn really helps us see this, we've created this little ridge. So as our basket sits, it's going to have this nice little ridge of um, the back post stitch to give it that nice kind of 90 degree um, way to sit on the table, that 90 degree angle. Okay, let's do a few more of these together. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the back, up over that post and back down, wrap yarn around hook, bring it back through, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. And we're just going to do this in every stitch all the way around our basket's base. And that will give us this lovely edge that we can have for our basket to sit on. Okay, so we're just going to do this all the way around. If you need to see this slow, you can back up the video and watch it as many times, at times as you need to see it. There's also a slow motion feature on YouTube. You can, of course, use that as well if you'd like to. My voice might sound a little different, but you can at least see it nice and slow. You can slow it down quite a bit but you can back up this video as many times as you need to see that stitch done. Okay, so we're just working a back post half double crochet all the way around our circle. Okay, so go ahead and finish your round and then when we get done, this is kind of like, I would call this sort of the transition round. The, the next round we're gonna do, we're just gonna start building up some nice straight simple sides with we're going to go back to our regular half double crochet stitch after this. So finish your round and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. You can already see that lovely ridge is forming on our basket. Just doing the last back post half double crochet of our round and then we're just going to join once again in the second chain up with a slip stitch to close the round. So let's look at our work here. As you can see, we have our base of our basket and you can really see how it's starting to take shape. We have some sides now, so we can start building up the side and we have this nice little ridge that it sort of sits on. So for the next couple of rounds, uh, specifically rounds six through 12. So we just did round five and now for round six through 12, we're just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Let's do that first one together and then we'll kind of depart, work a few rounds and then we'll come back and work the handles. So chain two, work a half double crochet into that first stitch of the round and in the next stitch, and in the next stitch and so forth. So just work a half double crochet in every stitch all the way around and this is how we're going to start building up the walls of our basket. So keep going around and we'll rejoin towards the end of this round and then we'll kind of go from there. We've come up to the end of our round. And we're just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round in that second chain up. Same thing we've been doing. And again, this was round six that we just worked. So you're going to work round six through 12. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, the same way. Just repeat round six through uh, until you get to uh, round 12 and then we're going to rejoin and learn how to let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see this 
uh, learn how to create these fun handles and finish the top edge of our basket. So continue working round six through 12 and we'll rejoin in just a minute and finish up the top of our basket. We have now worked round six through 12 and you can see it's gotten some really nice height to it. If we look at our other basket over here, you can see that we're ready now to do our handles. It's about the same height and we are ready to do the handles part. So what we wanna do for that is they're very, very easy to make. What we wanna do is chain two, one, two, and then what we're gonna do is work a half double crochet into that first stitch. And let me just zoom in a little bit. We're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then we're going to work a total of eight before we start the handle. So that was one and this is one half double crochet in each stitch just as a side note. So that was one, then we're going to do two, three, four, five, six, whoops, let's try that one again, six, seven, and eight. So we just started that as we normally would on a regular round, but now we're ready to start on the handle. So to work our first handle, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Then we're also going to skip six stitches. So here's where we left off. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to skip those six stitches and in that next stitch after that we're going to work a half double crochet. Okay, just like that. As you can see now we have the beginnings of a little handle. It doesn't look quite like this handle over here but we have the beginnings. We're going to work 17 half double crochets. We just did one of them, but we're going to work a total of 17 half double crochets before we start our next handle. So that was one. We're doing one per stitch once again. Two, three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now as you can see we're sort of, if you kind of eyeball it, we're kind of directly across now from our handle that we just made. So we want to do the same thing we did before. Chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, and then we're also going to skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and in that next stitch work a half double crochet, and then we're going to just continue working half double crochets around the rest of the round. So you can see our handles match up nicely, okay, and just keep working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around your lovely basket. And then at the end just work a slip stitch. Now if you need your handles to be bigger, just uh, wanted to mention, you can always chain more chains to make the handle bigger, but you also have to skip the same number of uh, stitches at the bottom. So you can make your handles bigger if you like. The next thing we're going to do is work our uh, next round. We're getting close to the end here now. If we look at our other basket, that's what's going to give um, our handles a little bit more uh, substantialness, if you will. <laughs> so chain two, 
And then we're gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. But when we get to our handles, uh, we're gonna work into the spaces. And we're gonna do this together so you can see it. But um, let me just zoom out because our basket's getting pretty tall here. But we're just working a half double crochet in each stitch until we get to these handles. Okay, so just work in each stitch. I have one more stitch left to work. And now, now, now we just did it into the stitches, we're going to work into the space. So by that I mean into this big space, this big handle here. We're going to work some stitches all the way across. Next we're going to work 10 half double crochets into this space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you may need to push things over a bit. And we're gonna kind of straighten everything out in a minute. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that'll give us a nice, sturdy, substantial looking handle. It looks very pretty. Now, locate that first stitch of your round that you're still working through and just work a half double crochet in every stitch until you come to that next handle space again. So we're just working our half double crochets all the way around. Now I wanted to mention too, if your handles aren't lining up the way you want them to, or if you opted for larger handles, you may have to adjust the number of stitches in between your handles. Uh, if you're just not liking the way they're spaced, or if you don't like the way I space them, or like I said, if you made your handles bigger or something like that, you might need to um, adjust the spacing before you work on this round, the number of stitches in between the handles. Okay, so we're just working our half double crochets all the way around. And we're coming up to our next handle space. Okay, so you just work there's a stitch. You just work those stitches until you run out of stitches, basically. Okay? So here is our space. Let me get a little bit more yarn. And once again, we're going to work 10 half double crochets into our handle space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you might need to push things over as needed. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Then you're going to continue, locate that first stitch of your round after that handle. You're just going to work your half doubles all the way around till you come back to the other side. All right, just working that last half double crochet. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. Same thing we've been doing all along. And this yarn's so fluffy, sometimes I, it slips right out of my hands. It's so soft and cuddly. Okay, so now we have our handles. Now I like to, because this is variegated yarn, it's kind of showing through. So just sort of like spread everything out, get everything nice and lined up. Sometimes when we crochet things, everything gets kind of bunchy and we need to just um, spread things out again. You might need to do this on the other side with your other handle. The last round of our basket is just a nice neat little single crochet just to kind of like give a nice uh, edge to the top, okay? So all we're gonna do, easiest round ever, we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna work a single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So just insert your hook into that first stitch, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Let me just zoom in so you can see that again if you're not familiar. Insert the hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. Now we won't have any spaces on this round because we worked those handles a while back. So 
it's just going to be stitches. It's a nice, easy little round to finish up your basket. Okay, so just work a single crochet in every stitch all the way around, and then we'll rejoin and we're going to finish up our beautiful basket. I love how these colors are playing out. And mine, I and now I didn't do this on purpose at all, but mine happened to have almost like a little diagonal um, rows of dark blue. Now my other basket was more um, blobs of color. As you can see, it's more, the color's kind of more spread out. But this one, I got some like neat, diagonal lines through it so that was pretty cool so just work your uh, single crochets all the way around and we'll rejoin in just a sec okay I'm just at the end here and I'm just gonna work a slip stitch to close up the round and our basket is complete now let me grab my scissors because what we're gonna do is cut the yarn and I just wanted to point out too like I mentioned earlier in the video you'll have a little bit of yarn here it might not be enough to make a whole nother basket but you can make a shorter basket or you can make something to complement your basket as well so what we need to do now is just fasten off so wrap the yarn around the hook and just pull it through and then we're going to weave in our ends so make sure for this yarn if you're using the yarn that I have just make sure you grab your largest uh, tapestry needle with the largest eye that you have this is very fluffy yarn so the really fun thing about this project is because we wove our tail in as we went when we started in the bottom here, we just have one tail, which is so awesome. When does that ever happen? Probably hardly ever, right? So just thread your tapestry needle, and then we're just going to go down on the inside here. And my tail is shades of the lighter blue, so I'm going to try and stay away from this darker blue stuff just because it'll kind of show. So just go in one direction with your tapestry needle here. And then bring it through and then go back in the other direction that will help lock that tail into place and just stay in these lighter blue areas also and then pull that through as well and then what you're going to do is grab your scissors and just give it a little snip so i have mine all folded down now but it does stand up nice and pretty and here's our other one they both look so cute and these are just so fun and practical for so many things so that is how you crochet the playfully plush basket thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest fiber flux video updates thanks again Bye.